there are three main things that can affect FPS on CS2. Let's go over how to fully optimize them. Firstly, your GPU and its graphic drivers. A comment I saw multiple times on my most recent video is how with the latest Nvidia driver at least, a bunch of people's FPS dropped by like up to 50% for no apparent reason. Now, I didn't personally drop a ton, but I did encounter so much stuttering to the point where CS2 wasn't really playable. So if you're having any of these issues, come to this link in the description and you can download any of the previous Nvidia drivers. For example, as you can see here, I'm using driver 556.12, which was released on June 27th, 2024. And of course, if you have any other issues, you can always revert back to like the latest driver, but I highly recommend testing some old drivers as I think there's some issues with more recent ones. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Skins Monkey, a safe, easy to use automated CS2 trading site. If you want to switch up your old skins for something fresh and new, Skins Monkey has you covered. All you need to do is select the skins you want to swap out, see how much they're worth, and then using their filter, you can find the perfect replacement. And if you want up to five dollars free towards your first trade make sure to claim it by clicking here and using code wild or if you're looking to also buy some new skins skins monkey offer an insane 30 percent deposit bonus when topping up your balance that can even go up to 35 percent if you're using code wild as well so what are you waiting for click the link at the top of the description or in the pinned comment to start trading now now we've tested to find your best gpu drivers it's worth changing some window settings the first thing you want to do is come to this link to a guide which explains how to enable the ultimate power performance plan it's super quick and simple yeah just enable ultimate performance then go to the next link in the description which will send you to a website where you can scroll down and download the application known as unpark cpu once you've downloaded it, make sure you extract it in your downloads and then right click on the application and click run as administrator. This will pop up. All you need to do here is click unpark all, click OK, and then click apply. I mean, mine are already done, so it literally doesn't change anything. Next, you want to search up startup apps and just click on this and then basically scroll through all of these apps and disable anything that you don't need in the background when you load up your PC, obviously, because then when you go and play CS, if some of these things are still on in the background, so for example, here, Spotify, the Vanguard train notification, you can turn all these things off because if your main focus is to play CS, then you don't want any of this open in the background unless you need it. But obviously that's all down to your workflow. After doing that, you can then click apps and then go to installed apps and basically just scroll through and uninstall any of the bloat that Microsoft add to your PC. So this is things like the calculator or just any of those apps, which otherwise you probably have on your phone or something like that. Just get rid of them. Now, if you search up mouse and click on mouse settings and then go to additional mouse settings, this window will pop up. What you want to do is go to pointers and make sure that scheme is set to none. Click apply and OK, and then go to pointer options and make sure guys enhanced pointer precision is turned off. This is super important. Now it will feel very weird when you turn this off because normally when you have this enabled, your mouse isn't actually inputting its raw input. Windows is almost adding some assist to it. Yeah, it's just not as precise. Pros like Monacy and a bunch other use this. So yeah, take their word for it over mine. It will feel weird when you first change it, but trust me, it's worth getting used to. So yeah, just click apply and okay. Then search up display settings and go down to where it says advanced display and just make sure that your monitor is using its high highest refresh rate here. A lot of people forget to do this and they're heavily missing out. Now go back into display and then click on graphics just below advanced. Scroll down the list to CS2.exe and make sure under options it is set to high performance. And then also right back up at the top, click change default graphics settings and make sure both of these things are enabled. Now search up storage settings and then all you need to do is make sure that storage sense is turned off. Search up notifications. Just like before, make sure this is also off as well. And then at the bottom here, guys, click privacy and security. Go into general, turn everything off, go into pretty much all of these things, guys, and just make sure they're all off. You don't need them. Finally, guys, go to gaming and make sure that on game bar, you turn this off. On captures, you turn these off as well. It's a lot of turning off, guys. But uh, yeah, then on game mode, I recommend actually having this thing on, especially if you're on Windows 11. Again, you can test this in game, try it on, try it off, see what happens for you. But for me, on is what you want. Next up, guys, go to the WPD link and then just click download. And of course, extract it and then this will show up. All you need to do is right click on it, just like before we did with other programs and click run as administrator. I think my screen goes black when I do that. I'm not sure. Now, as you can see, this pops up and all you want to do is click disable and then block. And you can actually keep checking this. So as you just saw there, something changed. So I've now disabled it, which is good. Next, go to the blockers tab and make sure that Windows Defender Firewall is on because you want to be safe and then make sure that telemetry is ticked. And once you've done that, you can just close out of the app and go to the O&O website and download Shut Up 10++. 
Once you've downloaded it, run it as administrator. All you need to do is go to actions and click apply only recommended. Now, if you want to be extra safe, I recommend creating a system restore point just in case you want to revert these changes. But after you've done that, you can close out of the app. And the last thing I recommend doing maybe is using a free app like CC Cleaner to just clear out your PC of all the junk. And right before we load up CS2, you can right click on it, go to properties and then under launch options. I have a bunch of other stuff not to do with settings, but one thing that you might want to do is do dash Vulcan. And then what this does is if you're on an AMD or Intel GPU, this can sometimes help with performance. Sometimes it doesn't. So test it out. But if you're on an Nvidia GPU like myself, don't even bother using this. This will like actually have a bad impact on your performance. So yeah, if you're on Nvidia, ignore that step. AMD or Intel, give it a test, see if it helps. Now guys, for CS2 in-game settings, make sure firstly that you're playing in full screen and that your refresh rate is turned up to the maximum amount possible. Boost player contrast is minimal, but if you want the best performance, disable it. Obviously, V-Sync, G-Sync disabled. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Realistically, if you've got a strong enough build, so like a somewhat high-end build, enabled plus boost is best. But for most people, probably enabled is best as it won't put as much stress on your GPU. I don't recommend doing disabled. So yeah, just minimum enabled. Max FPS in game, just zero because you just want as good FPS as possible. For some people, if you do limit this, then it can help with stuttering. But for most people, I just recommend zero. Now, if you want to, you can just pause it and copy these down. But basically, you want at least 2x MSAA. Shadow quality can be low as long as you have dynamic shadows on all. Model and texture means to be at least medium. Anisotropic, I know this looks weird, but 16x, the top one, actually, for me, gives me the best FPS. You could drop this to like a 4x if you want. Shader and particle, both low. Now, ambient occlusion, this also helps with seeing people's shadows like round corners. So I recommend at least having this on medium. HDR, I mean, you can have performance or quality. It kind of just depends. Like, if you don't like on performance how certain like darker bits look almost grainy, then yeah to swap this to quality but yeah it's completely up to you it doesn't make too much of a difference and then finally super resolution make sure to have that disabled now guys let's test these out in deathmatch because in my previous video someone was complaining in the comments that i was testing the settings on an empty map we're literally sitting in the 400 sometimes like down here we're now 540 now for an a like we're close to 500 on b site there's a guy here let's try and uh, dodge him but yeah we're sitting at like 550 fps when we get shot it dips a bit looking back this way obviously when we can see everyone everyone will be being drawn in the background that dips it but also i mean deathmatch isn't necessarily the best thing to test this on i'm gonna check mirage out as well but yeah even on mirage we're getting like 400 ish fps sometimes up to closer to 500 if we look back here we're gonna be looking at all of like the enemies if we look away obviously it goes up to like 550 so the amount of people that you're looking at does affect the fps but to be fair guys honestly these are just the best settings in general for anyone's pc so just by doing this does not mean that you're gonna get the same fps obviously i don't think the majority of people clicking these videos think that they're going to then get the FPS that I get. Like that's just not going to happen unless you have the same build as me. But what these settings are going to do is get the best performance out of your system so that you can get as high a FPS as possible. Of course, though, if this video did help, make sure to leave a like on it. It really helps the algorithm. And if you want to watch another video, click the video on your screen right now.